In today's video, I'm going to show you how to find and steal featured snippets. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Joshua Hardwick here from AHRest. Now, before we get to the tactics, let me take a moment to briefly explain what a feature snippet is, and I think the best way to do this is with a few examples. So, if we Google something like how to make pizza dough, you'll see this feature snippet at the top of the search results. So, there's an answer to the query, in this case it's an ordered list which shows you how to make pizza dough, and it gives you a step-by-step -step process for doing that. You'll also notice that it pulls this information from a third-party website, in this instance it's MarthaStewart.com. But feature snippets aren't always displayed in this exact same way. For example, if you Google best coffee machine, you'll see that it's an a unordered list as opposed to an ordered list. And if you Google something like what is HREF, you'll see that we've actually got a paragraph rather than any kind of list at all. So the question is, what's the big deal with these feature snippets? Like, why do we care about them? Well, a couple of years ago, we performed a study. Uh, we analysed 2 million feature snippets, and we found that on average, 8% of the clicks go to this feature snippet. So when someone doodles something, 8% of clicks actually end up going to this website from which the feature snippet is pulled. So in short, when you own a feature snippet, you get more traffic to your website. So then the question becomes, how do you find feature snippet opportunities and how do you steal them? Well, in this video, I'm going to share three ways for doing that. And the first one is, find feature snippets that you already own then make sure they're optimised for maximum clicks. Now this model might seem a bit weird because you already own the featured snippet, so you might be thinking like, why do we need to do anything? You've already got the featured snippet, so why is there any action required whatsoever? Well, to illustrate, I'm going to use uh, ambitiouskitchen.com, and I'm going to go to Site Explorer, and I'm just going to search for that website. So then on the uh, or on the uh, report, you know, we want to go to the organic keywords report. Now, if you're following along, you need to do this for your website. Don't choose just a random website. Um, so this shows you all of the keywords for which this website or your website currently ranks. But you'll also notice that there are a few filters uh, that we can use to filter these results. And the one that we're going to use for this video is the SERP features option. So we're going to choose feature snippet, and we're going to choose target domain must be featured. So this narrows down the results. Um, so that it shows only the keywords with featured snippets that you actually own. So if we just click apply on this, you'll see that we're left with just over, well, almost one and a half thousand results. So let's just check out this first one, how to make buttermilk, which gets 76,000 searches, uh, estimated searches every single month. So let's just check out the Google search results for that. And uh, as you can see, there is a feature snippet, and Ambitious Kitchen does own this feature snippet, but straight away you'll notice a few problems. So number one, the feature snippet begins with a rather strange headline. We've got this, an error occurred headline, which doesn't really entice anyone to click, um, click this snippet in my opinion, and it doesn't really explain what the feature snippet shows you, which is how to make buttermilk. So number two, uh, despite there already being these uh, listed items, these numbered lists, um, you can see that there's kind of this like duplicated step items within these lists. Um, so again, this doesn't really bode well and it doesn't really entice people to click this result in my opinion. So this could be a better optimised. Um, but how do you go about cleaning this up? Well, there are a few things you could do. Number one, you could remove any rogue HTML from this page. Uh, so for example, what you would need to do here is remove these plain text uh, step items from within the list items in the HTML. Um, you could also just simplify the content. So you'll see that in this example, um, step number two is quite long and it's quite long-winded. And because of this, it actually gets uh, truncated, so it's cut off. Um, so a good option here would be to just simplify this within the actual content itself so that the feature snippet pours uh, a more kind of simple step. Uh, and number three, make it more descriptive. So as I said, we've got this error occurred option, uh, headline rather, which doesn't really describe anything. So it would be much better if they said something like, you know, here's how to make buttermilk, and then the steps below it. So in this video, I'm not going to go any deeper into these optimization strategies, but if you would like to learn more about doing this, then check out the full post on the Ahrefs blog where I go into more detail about all of these steps. So for now, let's just move on to tactic number two, which is finding low-hanging feature snippet opportunities that you don't already own and then stealing them. So in our study, we found that almost all feature snippets are owned by a page that already ranks in the top 10. So for example, if we look at the term cauliflower pizza crust, 
you'll see that the featured snippet is owned by a website called ifoodreal.com. And if you scroll down, you can also see that this website ranks in the top 10 in the regular organic search results. But what does this mean for you? Well, basically it means that should you already rank in the top 10 for a particular term, yet you don't currently own the snippet, then you could probably win that snippet just by making a few tweets to your page. So what you need to do is this, you need to find all the search queries that have a feature snippet where your website currently ranks in the top 10. Again, this is quite easy to do with Ahrefs. So go back to the organic keywords report from earlier, but this time instead of selecting the target domain must be featured option within the SERP features, choose the all features option. Then once you've clicked apply on that, add a positions filter to show the keywords you rank for in the top 10. So we just need to select um, up until result number 10 there. So what you're seeing now is all the queries you rank for in the top 10, which also show a feature snippet in the results. But here's the thing, because we selected that other option in the SERP features drop down, you don't necessarily own the snippet for these terms. Some of them will be owned by your competitors. So if you remember, we already covered optimizing the content for snippets that you already own in the first part of this video. So this next step is to filter out all of the owned snippets so that you can see only the snippets that are owned by your competitors. Uh, unfortunately, right now, we don't have this kind of functionality within Ahrefs itself. So what I've done is I've created a Doodle Sheet to automate this process for you, which you can download uh, from the full post on the Ahrefs blog. Just remember to actually make a copy of this Doodle Sheet, that's file, make a copy, and then save it on your Doodle Drive, uh, so that you can actually edit that Doodle Sheet and do what you need to do with it. So once you've done that, go back to the organic keyword results uh, within Ahrefs, and you want to export these results to a CSV file. Again, you can do a full export, you can do a, a partial export, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to do 1,000 rows for now. So once that's done and you've downloaded that, what you need to do is upload this into the first sheet, uh, the import tab within this Google Sheet. So just go to file uh, and then import, whoops, not open, you need to go to import and basically just select that um, file that you just downloaded, the CSV, so I'll just drag it in. Uh, and once that's uploaded, you want to leave these settings exactly as they are, only you want to change this first one, the import location, to append to current sheet. So then just click import data and you'll see that within a few seconds, Google Sheets pulls in all of this data uh, from that CSV. Um, so now what you need to do is go to the second tab in this sheet, which is uh, called feature snippets that you don't own, which as you probably might guess, basically just pulls out all of the feature snippets that you don't currently own from that CSV. So now you're seeing only the keywords that have feature snippets where you rank in the top 10, but you don't own that snippet. So now it's just a case of trying to understand why you don't own these snippets and then doing everything in your power to actually win them. Again, if you want to learn more about how to do that, plus another quick hack, which isn't included in this video, then check out the full post on the Ahrefs blog where I go into a lot more detail about these tactics. But for now, let's move on to the method Number three, finding terms with feature snippets that your competitors rank for and then stealing them. So looking at the feature snippets that you already own and optimizing them, and then looking for potentially stealable snippets for terms you already rank in the top 10 for and then stealing them is a good start, but it can be somewhat limiting. In fact, there are probably a lot of other relevant search queries with feature snippets that you don't currently rank for at all, not even in the top 10, not anywhere. And the thing is though, that your competitors might rank for these terms. And with Ahrefs, what you can do is research these competitors to find a ton more terms with feature snippets that might be worthwhile creating content for and trying to steal. So to do this, go to Keywords Explorer and enter a seed keyword. Uh, in this example, I'm just gonna use the word vegan and I'm gonna hit search. So then you need to select a list of keyword suggestions from the left-hand menu. I recommend just starting with phrase match. Uh, and then finally, use the SERP features filter to filter for the keywords with feature snippets in the search results. So right away, we found over 25,000 keywords. Uh, these are potential opportunities of which one is the phrase feed and cheesecake. So let's use a SERP overview to see who owns this snippet. 
And you can see straight away that the owner of this snippet is minimalistbeta.com. So what I'm then going to do is I'm going to switch over to Site Explorer. And I'm going to enter Minimalist Beta into Site Explorer, just the domain, not the full URL. Uh, just enter the domain and uh, hit search. And then, once again, we're going to go to the Organic Keywords Report and filter for terms that show feature snippets. So, search features, feature snippets, and all features. So, instantly, we're presented with another 284,000 keywords um, for which there's a feature snippet. And it's then just a case of sifting through these keywords and seeing if any of them are potentially stealable if you create some content or if you optimize existing content. Now, if you do have a lot of keywords in this report, like I do, 280,000, you can't really go through all of these. So I recommend just adding a traffic filter, um, just enter a thousand or, or whatever number seems appropriate for you. Um, so before I wrap this up, I'm just going to tackle one extra quick tip, which is that you can actually take a big website like Quora and you can do the exact same thing. So if we go back to Site Explorer and we enter this time Quora.com and then again go back to the organic keywords report, um, you can then actually search this website for keywords that it ranks for um, that are related to your niche. So for example, we could just enter something like recipe in the search field and hit search and then we're going to be narrowed down from 38 million keywords, which are probably going to be irrelevant for most of us, to just 25,000. So we've got a load of recipes, basically. And instantly, we can then find a ton more uh, queries with feature snippets if we just add a feature snippet filter. So the amount of keywords that we actually end up with in this instance is around 20,000. So again, it's just a case of looking through these figuring out if any of them are relevant, anything uh, that pops out that you might want to create content around or potentially try and feature uh, steal rather than feature snippet, then you can actually try and do that. So that's it guys for this video. Three methods for finding and stealing feature snippets which should send more traffic to your website. So remember to check out the full post on the Ahrefs blog where I go into more detail on all of these three methods. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because there's plenty more where this came from. Cheers. Mm.